I got to play with the laser cutter a little bit more when I was at Fab Play this week at Hawkins Schools. So I thought I would uh, make a little video tell me what, reminding me of what I did. Um, I wanted to make a holiday themed light box, which looks kind of like that. Here's some different examples of what you could do. And, you know, basically you're making a box out of wood or cardboard and putting a light inside of it, cutting some designs out. Um, I was thinking I could put in like the Circle Playground Express with this NeoPixels programmed. I could put in, you know, a, a micro bit with some cut, some uh, programmable LEDs or just a little strand of uh, LEDs. Um, this is what I ended up cutting out for my holiday theme. And yes, I saved the little pieces because I use those for something else. So the first thing I had to do was go to makercase.com and make my box. So let's go to makercase.com and I went with a four by four by eight box and inside outside dimensions take your pick an eighth inch thick open or close again the open's going to make you uh, no top. We're going closed you have choices on the joint for it flat was like what we call a butt joint then finger joints and then these t-slot things i went with finger joints and you can adjust the size of the fingers um i forget how big i made them probably something like that to get a at least a couple per side play with what you want and then download the box plans and then there's still one more thing so here is the box it's telling you which pieces for where. Now that word is going to get rastered into the wood or the uh, cardboard, whatever material you're using, or acrylic. Um, if you don't want that, you come down here to the panel labels and click disabled. It's just a matter of time. You can always put that on the inside, I would assume, that that would be. Um, you could always, um, you know, Click the enabled and get a picture of that, get a screenshot of that, and then after you laser it, um, put little markings on it if you were afraid you'd forget. And then you download the SVG. Yes, as you can see down at the bottom, I've already done this once. And um, we are done with uh, Maker Case. We would then open Corel Draw. And get a new file. And I'm gonna go with that uh, I'm gonna go with that 24 by 12 concept. Um, it's just the wood that they had, so I'm gonna keep it with that. And so here's my 24 by 12. Now uh, I need to insert that SVG or import that SVG. Uh, that's one thing I learned from them is that you can actually just, I'm just making things smaller so I have access. You can just uh, drag and drop it like that. All right, so here's my Corel Draw. Yeah, it comes in like this, which is, uh, you know, was confusing at first, but then when I look over here, it's filled in, so I'm going to click the No Fill. And then I come up to the, hair, the outline, and it says it's 7.2 point, and I want that to be hairline. Because remember, we're going to cut out the box. And let's make sure that's red. Yes, that's completely red. 255R is red. And then the final thing I need to do is rotate this thing to fit on the 12 by 24, which... For some reason, it doesn't fit on the 12 by 24, and I thought it did last time, which is very odd to me. Uh, but it's saying it's 16 by just over 12. So, um, and I'm going to obviously move it to here to use less, and um, maybe, just maybe, if I ungroup them. I can move see it didn't ha this didn't happen last time so I don't know why this is happening this time but it fit last time um, so 
We're going to have to skip that for now. Sorry about that. Next thing you have to do is get some images. Um, I already have some, but of course they are, and I downloaded them. And of course now they're not showing up in the downloads down here. And I delete, I closed my downloads folder. Uh, so, yeah, I so said we got to get some images. So I went to Corel Draw was next. Um, we got to get some images. Um, now, if you get a JPEG or a PNG, um, you have to convert the bitmap or trace the bitmap. And I'll show you that in a moment. If you get an SVG, you don't have to do that. So let me come here and go to my downloads. Let me grab this tree PNG. Drag it and drop it there. And oh my gosh, look at that. It is just completely black. Look up here. It's 218 by 218. So that's like really big. So you can either change the percentage that it's show of size, the scale, or you can actually just change the number. Um, I'm just randomly picking a number. Five by five, I don't know. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, now remember, that was a PNG. I need to come up here to trace bitmap. And there's all these options you're going to have to learn and play with. Um, I think I picked clip art. It's going to say, hey, this is what you got. This is what you're going to get. I click OK. It does it. You notice the, 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 the box has moved in. There are actually two images here right now. This one that comes off like an outline is actually the one I want. This one that doesn't do that is the original. Get rid of it. Come back to this one. We got to come back over here to this fill and the outline. Um, I want no fill. It went away because the outline says none. I want a hairline outline. And again, I want it red. Okay, RGB. Now you could be in the CMYK and all these other things. Uh, you have to know what red, what, what the numbers are for red in those. I know in RGB the number for red is 255. There we go. Um, obviously, I want to rotate this puppy. Dun, dun, dun. I also want to put it up into one of my boxes. It might be a little big for that, but that's okay. And that's going to get cut out. So, that was a little bit of, you know, I had to trace the bitmap. Now, let us grab an SVG. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the bobble. Oh, let's go with the Christmas sled. Grab it, drag it, and drop it. Oh, my gosh, that came in so tiny. Again, you can use the, the percents up there or just drag it. I'm going to zoom a little bit more. Drag and drop it. Drag it bigger. Again, we got to go back to this fill. Change the fill to no fill. Change the outline to hairline. Change it to red. Boom. So that's going to get cut out. Position it anywhere you want kind of thing. Um, the first click selects. The second click gets your rotation. Obviously, that wouldn't work really well. Okay. That's uh, Corel. Doing some little things in Corel. Then, um, where I found some of those icons, let's do that, was at flaticon.com. And so here's flat icon. I just put in a search and came up with things like this. Um, I clicked on a set. Dun, 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 dun. And it came up with some icons to choose from. And so then you click on one that you like. And you come over here to download. Now I downloaded the SVG. 
free download. You must credit the author. Okay. Downloaded it. It went into my downloads folder. Clicked and dragged it over. Um, drag and drop them. I ended up with that. And then I printed it to the laser. We were using an epilogue. I forget which one it was. But here's all the settings you, you get to fiddle with. First one I was told, make sure your piece size matches. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe I was using a 24 by 18. Nah, I thought I was just using a 24 by 12 before. I grabbed these pictures off Instructables. Um, job type, you're going to raster, vector, or combined. I happen to only be doing vector on that, so I would click vector. And therefore, only these settings were adjustable. These were grayed out. Um, here's what they say about the settings. Um, these are the etching settings. These are the vector settings. Speed is how fast it moves. Power is how strong it is. And frequency is how frequently it is firing. I really didn't realize that you could adjust that before. So that was interesting. Um, whatever settings are for your material and your specific laser, that's what you're going after. I think we were at like 16% speed, 100% um, power, and a frequency of 500 um, for what we were doing for the vector cutting. And there is a picture of it cutting. And again, that is what I ended with. So that was laser cutting. So many things you can do with it. Try it. It's fun.